Hello everyone, Yoro here and today I'm gonna show you once more how to update old Wuxi skins so they work again. So first of all you'll need to download the LOL custom skin tools by Moonshadow. I will link that in the description of course. And then you need your Wuxi file, which is one of my old skins. So I already downloaded it of course. So you just wanna navigate to the LOL custom skin tools folder. And in there you will need the LCS Wuxi extract.exe. So what you now want to do is just grab the Wuxi skin you have and then drag it onto it just and just drop it. Then as you can see it made a folder here which has the same name as Wuxi file. In there you will find a meta and a raw folder. The meta one you actually don't need. You can just delete that. Then the raw folder contains the folder data and then the whole Thing. So you might have to do some updates as probably the particles won't pr work properly anymore. For example, if you file just to shrink file sizes, you can delete all the Trident files as they no longer exist in most of the skins. I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna just leave the rest. Then another important thing is you have to rename data into assets. As data is no longer used in that way or on normal skins. So you need to rename it assets and we're gonna be lazy so you want to rename the raw folder into Soraka.watClient. Of course with your champ name and you have to be careful that it's written in the first letter is a capital letter. Alright, so now you want to start lcsmanager.exe actually. And then we are gonna create a new mod. So you go here on the three lines and create a new mod. I'm just gonna put in my name, uh, the name of the skin, name dear Soraka, authors the Yoru, the version is version 2, description I don't need that, and then we're gonna add uh, uh, the folder. So you're gonna go in there, just take the Soraka.what.client folder and just drag it in there. And that's it. Basically. And of course, if you want to run it, you just have to check it here and then click. If it says wait for leak, you have to go in game. And now I'm also going to show you how to do it with a phantom. So the first part of extracting the Wuxi file is this, still the same, but it's a, just a tiny bit different to create the mod, but not really that much. So you go to here, create new mod, once more, I actually prefer creating my mods in Phantom, I don't know why. Then you'll want to select the add what folder, N now you can also go select your what, cli what client file you just made. And then just create it and it's done. Hope that helped you and see you.